of my wonderful friends and supporters from the Austin area here, and I just want to personally say thank you. I know you didn't have a lot of notice because we actually interrupted my dear friend Kyle Wallace's tour of the world. When she leaves here, she's flying from Houston to Paris. She is really exhausted, but she agreed, really based on my friendship and desire to see her, to insert Austin into her schedule. And so for all of you at the last minute to drop your Saturday plans of shopping and dining and linking, and I know there's other things that compete with this event, I really do appreciate you coming and I just want to express that right up front. The program that we have for you today is very simple and very interactive. I want you to talk to Kyle. The first time I met her was at a women's conference in Pennsylvania. I was just blown away, so much so that when she left the stage, I said, I've got to meet this lady, because she's going to run the world one day. Little did I know, <laughs> little did I know that she was already a politician. She started in politics in her home city, Douala, Cameroon, in 2007. She's also an entrepreneur, a very successful entrepreneur. She was educated in the United States. She went to Howard University, studied additionally for her MBA in the States, and went back and started her own business where she helps to empower people as a consultant mostly with strategy, strategic thinking. She's brilliant. She communicates on a level that you're just awestruck. So that's why I wanted my friends in Austin to meet her. I also want to support her. When you leave, I want you to take some information with you that talks about what Kai is all about, her platform, what she's planning to do. I wrote a speech that I want to share, but I didn't get to copy it over, so it's kind of messy. <coughs> but there's some key facts that I want to share with you. First thing that came to my mind when I realized Kai had accepted my invitation is just how much power there is in proximity. And when you're around Ka, you'll find out immediately that her kinetic energy is just contagious. She is someone that has so much momentum and power, vision and ideas, all of the descriptors that we can think of for a true leader. But the difference about Ka is that she puts principles ahead of politics. Ka will remind you of someone that's in the White House right now. <laughs> Ka focuses in her own country on empowering through education, through improving health, through exposure to culture, to focusing on infrastructure, and to making sure technology is used. Just a little plug for IBM and Dell. <laughs> <laughs> and the engineers in the room. And that would be sure. But really, she does define leadership by giving the power to the participants and the players, not by wielding or yielding or absorbing the power and aggrandizing herself. That's just the kind of person she is. So I'm sure that before you leave today, you're going to want to help me help Ka get elected. Yes, this is a fundraiser. I'm going to be straight out up front about it. This bowl is not to chill champagne. <laughs> This goal is to make sure you pass by before you leave and just help us. You are not giving directly to Ka Wallah. We cannot, as U.S. citizens, contribute to a candidate from her country. What we're going to help her with is an NGO called Africa Obaso. Obaso means on the move, <coughs> going, changing, that kinetic power that I talked about. That NGO is going to register voters in our country. They will vote on the candidate of their choice. So what we're doing is enabling a democratic process, quite frankly. Ka is a member of the opposition party. She's the first woman ever in the history of Cameroon to run for president. and it's not just the kind of speech that somebody writes for you, Hetty, and sticks it <laughs> As I said, we met in Pennsylvania. We've worked together in Ecuador. We've been on stage together in South Africa. 
And when I was in New York two weeks ago, I got an email and she said, Marilyn, here's my travel list. Maybe I'll see you. And it's like, I'm in New York. <laughs> She's on stage with Bill Clinton at the Economist Forum. I couldn't even get a ticket. It was sold out. <laughs> they said I could pay the $75 and wait in line. And if people didn't show, I could get in. And I said, now you've got to come to Austin. <laughs> so just leaving that stage in. DC and Boston, and she was in Houston last night. She's going to spend just an hour to an hour and a half this afternoon with us talking about her country and what's going on. And then we're going to allow you to interact and ask questions. Then she's going to talk about her candidacy for about another 15 minutes. And then we're going to allow you to support her, and we're going to toast her with uh, just a bit of bubbly and send her on her way. But Many of you have met her already. Before you leave, I have a present for Kosh. She's going to take a piece of us back with her. So I want each one of you, I'll start with Roy Perry, to just touch this stone, make a wish for Ka, and pass it throughout the room. She'll be the last one to touch it. She'll put it back in this couch, and she's going to take a piece of us back to Cameroon so that she knows she's always in our heart. And we are probably looking at the next president, the first female president of the nation of Cameroon. And you're all going to have a chance to be a part of that. Thank you so much for coming. I'll be back to help conduct the Q&A and watch the time. The servers are at your disposal. Whatever you want that's not alcoholic, I'll pay for it. <laughs> if you want an alcoholic beverage, please go ahead and order and pay. <laughs> and as I said before you leave, if you're so inclined to help cough, this is not a must do, a have to do, but I wish you would do. Thank you. Help us help Ka change that part of the continent, which I think is just her first step. Because Cameroon Obasu, Obaso is a part of Africa Obaso, which helps the democratic process in all of the continent. So without more words from me, I'm known for verboseness, <laughs> uh, please a warm Austin, Texas welcome for Kyle Wallace.